Hey everyone, Wisdom in Golf, headquartered here at Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. I'm Sean Clement, your chairman. And today we're going to be talking about how we perceive things as human beings on this planet as far as the alignment of our, our, of our eyes and how we see things and perceive things through our alignment. So I have never met anyone in my whole golfing life that was able to align themselves properly from their, with their side vision. Okay, let me explain. So two and a half to four million years that we've been on this planet and we, every, there's a reason why the eyes are at the front of our face. So when we started standing on our feet and everything would stack up, head, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles, this is how we fight gravity. So we have a long and prosperous life. So if I was to walk towards you like this every day for the next, I mean, I would, I would have a, a very shortened life expectancy because gravity would really decimate my body. This way, I'm, I'm in a good position to withstand gravity for a long time. So the uh, rib cage and pelvis are uh, uh, connected through the spine and in the spine we have those facet joints to keep everything facing forward. So if I'm going that way, now I want to change directions and I go towards you, this is how I do it. This is how we all do it. So when I look this way, my vision is very much askew now. I am, I am toast. I can't vector this. I am extremely poor at dealing with this. And that's, that's a major understatement as well. Okay. So if you ever try to confirm your alignment from the side, you're toast. Okay. So what we do is we pick an intermediate point in front of the ball. So let's say I have a ball right here on the, on the corner of this, uh, of this uh, mat here. Let me just put it right there. There we go. And I'm facing you. So it feels right now to go straight into the camera lens. I'm going to go over the left half of that ball. And I want to take my dominant eye out of there. And from here, I can see that left side of the ball is what I need to go towards you. Now that I've seen it with my four million year old vision, I have to trust this. So when I get beside the ball, I am looking for momentum going over the left edge. Now, because I bring my arms together, together to take my grip, my arms and club are always going to tend to swing per parallel to my, my uh, ball socket system. So if I line myself up this way, it feels like the momentum is going way left of that intermediate point. Less left of that intermediate point. Left edge of the intermediate point. Now it feels like I'm lined up on left edge. I know this, and when you take that intermediate point, you don't want to go more than two feet out. So when I'm facing the ball with my binocular vision, that intermediate point is easily seen right there. If it's too far out and I have to start turning my head to see it, I'm toast. So it's got to be right there. So two feet or less, I would actually prefer it to be just within six inches to a foot in front of the ball. So now I have a proper alignment and with this alignment, I can now get my ball position because you'll notice that if I take my ball position, put it here and I change my alignment to the right, Notice the centers over here. My ball position has just gone way forward on me. Now I'm going to have to change my body alignment to go to the target. I am now very much misaligned and I'm asking for big trouble in, insofar as golf injuries are concerned. Okay. So when I change my alignment, I don't want to change the way my ball position is. So if I'm playing the ball just forward to center for my fade, still forward to center, still forward to center, Still forward to center. So can, you can see now how I'm moving that ball around. So when I'm setting up to this and I'm going to play a fade, I'm going to you know, start at left edge. My ball is slightly forward to center in relation to the alignment of my momentum. See that? So now I've, I have now set myself up properly to hit a fade starting left edge of that ball and fading back, let's say, behind that ball. Okay? So alignment is everything. It sets everything up for you. And you have to pick an intermediate point from back here. If you look at Jack Nicholas in his prime, target, intermediate point, ball, 
intermediate point target, intermediate point ball. You saw Jack's head moving in exactly that way. So he couldn't live without that intermediate point because that's what he needed to swing into his moving pictures. That's exactly what we do. We have a moving picture about where you want to start the ball, where you want the ball to end, and if I'm lining up for a draw, I would line up, let's say I want to line up left edge of that, that's where I want the ball to end, and then I'd play the ball a little bit further back in my stance. Let me just move this for a sec. Yes, that's left edge to go into the camera lens. That's too far left. Still a little too far left. That's left edge, got it. So play the ball a bit back in my stance. Notice how I didn't change my alignment when I played the ball further back. So now from here, if I swing right edge of that intermediate point, right edge, right edge, release right edge, now I can hit that draw back starting this way and bring it back to you. So that alignment is super key to setting me up properly. So once you're set up, once we've arrived, and you say, okay, I'm going in that direction, I'm gonna play my draw, so line up straight over it, ball back, get behind, so from this position here, right, I feel like this matches, you know, how I want this to end up, and now I can stay with my shot, right edge, that fits, right edge, that fits, right edge, that fits, so now, when I take my gaze and bring it out to my target and bring it back into my setup, I am no longer confirming my alignment. My alignment's been confirmed. So when I look out there, I'm looking at the picture. And with this setup, I'm going to tell my body, this is how we're swinging into that picture. So for those of you who tend to line up too far right and swing towards your body, this new alignment's gonna feel like your arms have to swing so far away from your body, it's gonna feel exaggerated. As long as you confirm it with your intermediate point, whatever that is, that's what you need to deal with and you gotta trust it, okay? This is what's gonna form proper habits in your golf swing. Without this proper alignment, your golf swing will get destroyed in no time, okay? See you in the next video.